Well, it's basically part of a revolution. Like I, I grew up and I made myself as an artist during the dictatorship in Romania, the communist one, right? So very like Franco on the other side, <laughs> you know? So, uh, and then when that collapsed, the first extraordinary platform we established was the newspaper, was the freedom of to print whatever you want. So it was an, an explosion of free expression, much more interesting than the art. So I joined a newspaper. So my first gallery was 16 page <laughs> gallery, uh, uh, illustrating articles, political, blah, 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 blah. So it was a new society to be built. Dan was the only artist that I knew being uh, in the public space, taking risks, being responsible at the same time. Mm -hmm. And it became something really interesting when I, when I reached out to him and asked him about, about the, uh, the topic I was researching and maybe he can rec recommend me some, some drawings that, uh, that have to do with my topic. He, he actually started giving me access to his archive, which became suddenly like obvious that, mm -hmm. that this wall requires attention that the Romanian Art institutions do not. In my country, the newspapers are closing down. You know, to print now a newspaper is very complicated, costs, and you know, people don't care about it, just, you know. So I'm one of the few who establish a newspaper <laughs> in a form of a drawing on a wall, which is organized as a newspaper with chapters, and I'm updating it all the time and stuff. So this, this, this is it. This 35 years span, who grew from one thing to another, but the origin is from this freedom of expression until 29 years old I never had. So I got it and I don't want to give it back. His practice is a drawing practice, but it's, it's a drawing that takes risks, that's vulnerable, that draws itself because not very many of his drawings or uh, remain to, to be to be sold or you know so it, it, it's this interesting re relationship between his commentaries and what what lives what lives after interacting with with his work you know because most of the time it remains the experience or images well I'm fascinated with visual image with texts I love languages and I think this society is much smarter than it looks and then it proves, you know. I think we are, we are what I want to, to, to give back to the society is this kind of cleverness and wit and power of thinking, you know, and concept and uh, in a simple language. I'm not one of these artists who pretend that I will solve a conflict in the world with the art and, you know. No, I cannot. But I can contribute after the war is done, you know after I can, and I can bring back some smile, some thinking in people.